Hello, hello, and welcome back to Kingdom Business. Another ooh, video for you on today. That's, and God has been just speaking to me through the book of Job. Oh my goodness, it's like I will randomly open my Bible and I turn right to Job. And I'm like, Lord, what are you trying to say to me? What do you want me to hear from you? What do you want me to share on today, Lord? And the Lord is talking about Job on today. And we're going to go to Job 5 and we're going to read the whole, that whole uh, 5, okay, chapter 5. We're going to read the whole thing, okay, because the Lord is really speaking in this time. He's really speaking in this hour. And I just believe that the Lord is trying to tell us something, okay, uh, through this book of Job. My God, because like I said, it's probably been three or four days that I have been just focused on. Every time I open up my word, it's about it's Job, 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 Lord. I know that you are telling me to release some things, let go of some things. And, 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 and he's going to listen. He says, I give it. And I also take it away. So when he take it away, let it be gone. Let that door be shut. Let it be shut and don't open it again. Let it go. Okay. Because he says, I have more for you. I have more for you. Okay. So whatever he takes, listen, he's going to multiply it more and more. Y'all seen what Job went through. He went through a whole bunch. He went through losing his family, losing his wealth. Losing all of those things. And also he got attacked by the enemy in his body. In his body. on his, He had sores on his body. But he did not leave God. He did not forsake the Lord. He did not say, you know, what his wife told him to say. He did not do that. He stuck with God. And that's what God wants us to do. That is what he's trying to tell us. To stay with him. Even though we go through. Even though, like it says, even though you slay me, yet will I serve you. Yet will I continue in you, Lord. We have to stay connected to God. That is what this is saying. This is why he keep, keep pulling me back to this. Stay connected to God. Don't let nothing pull your attention. People, places, or things. Don't let them do it. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart. Lean not to thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. OK, so I'm so uh, grateful and thankful how the Lord comes to me when things and people and stuff tries to connect and try to attach to me that God is not. He don't want that. He don't want me having things attached to me. So this is one of the reasons why he said, get rid of all of that stuff. Get rid of it. Throw it away. Not throw it away, but a lot of things I gave away, y'all. A lot of things I sold. He said, I want to see if you serve me more than you serve these things. I want to see if you serve me more than you serve these things. Do you love me more than these things? People, places, and things? Because he told me to get some people out too in my life. And he snatched some folks out of my life. Listen, whatever the Lord is trying to do in your life to do today, let him do it. Don't murmur. Don't complain. Just let him do it. Because he knows what's best for you. Praise God. So we're going to go ahead and get into the word of God. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me on today. Dear most gracious Heavenly Father, we come before your presence. Lord, giving you thanks. Thank you for everything you've done, Lord. Thank you for who you are. And Lord, I thank you for who you are in my life. I thank you for transformation. I thank you for a new life in you. I thank you for everything that you've done, all that you're doing. My God, I thank you for taking the blinders off my eyes. I thank you for letting me surrender to you in this time, this season, everything that's going on. God, thank you for letting me Truly surrender to your will, God, in your way. Thank you right now, God. There's a lot of people out there that wants to surrender. God, let them just go ahead and throw up their hands and Lord say, I surrender for real, God, to you. I give my all to you, God. You are the first and the most important thing in my life. You are my top priority. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You need to say whatever comes, whatever goes, it does not matter because you are my top priority, Lord. Oh, my God. And I know that you are protecting me on today. You are keeping me. You're keeping my mind. You're, you're, just, just, you're just loving on me and I'm just loving on you. And I just thank you right now, God. Oh, hallelujah. Praise God. Lord, watch over your people. Keep them. Lord, right now, God, touch them in a special way. Those that are sick, those that shut in, those that were in the hurricane, Lord God, 
Touch the families of those that lost loved ones. Touch the, the survivors, God. Give them strength, peace. Lord, right now in this hour, it is critical. This is a critical hour. This is the time to surrender all to God. This is the time to really have a relationship with God. This is the time to really focus on God. This is the time to stay in his presence, live in his presence. This is the time for God to be your whole life because he created you. This is the time. If this, this, there's no other time. This is the time right now, right here. Praise God. So surrender everything today. And live for him today in the way that he told you to live and speak his word the way he said, speak it. If you are a preacher, teacher, anybody in leadership and also be a servant. OK, just because we're in leadership does not mean we're not a servant. We are to get out in the fields. We are to work. Praise God. While it is day for when night come, we cannot work anymore. So work while it is day. And please, if you are young, serve the Lord in your youth. Serve him in your youth, because when you get old, you're going to lose some things, your eyesight, your, your hearing, all these things, because you need to do it while you are young and able to work. Hallelujah. Praise God. Don't wait till you get to your old age to work. Hallelujah for the Lord. Don't do that. Work while you're young. Do his will while you're young. Hallelujah. Live the life while you're young. Thank you, Jesus, right now. Let's get into the word. So we're going to go through Job. Hallelujah. Praise God. Five. And it says, call now. Hear there anyone who will answer you. To which of the holy ones will you turn? Surely vexing kills the fool, the fool and jealousy slays the simple. I have seen the fool take taking root, but suddenly I cursed his dwelling. His children are far from safety. They are crushed in gate and there is no one to deliver them. The hungry eat his harvest and he takes it even out of thorns and the thirsty pants for, for well, for his wealth. My, my, my. For affliction does not come from the dust, nor does trouble sprout from the ground. But the but man is born to trouble as the sparks uh, fly upward. As for me, I will seek God and to God will I commit my cause. Who does great things and unsearchable, marvelous things without number? He gives rain on the earth and sends water on the fields. He sets on high those who are lowly and those who mourn are lifted to safety. He frustrates the devices of the crafty so that their hands are achieved no success. He catches the wise in their own craftiness and the schemes of the wily are brought to a quick end. They meet with darkness in the daytime and grope not grope at noonday as in the night. But he saves the needy from the sword of their mouth and from the hand of the mighty. So the poor have hope and justice, I'm sorry, and injustice shuts her mouth. Behold, blessed is the man, I mean, the one who God reproves. Therefore, despise not the discipline of the almighty for he wounds, but he binds up. He shatters, but his hand healed. He will deliver you from six troubles. In seven, no evil shall touch you. In famine, he will redeem you from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. You shall be hidden from the lash of the tongue and shall not fear destruction where it comes. A destruction and famine, you shall laugh and shall not fear the beast of the earth. 
for you shall be in league with the stone of the field. And the beast of the field shall be at peace with you. You shall know that your tent is at peace. And you shall inspect your fold and miss nothing. You shall know also that your offspring shall be many. And your descendants as the grass of the earth. You shall come to your grave in ripe old age. Like a shift gathered up in its season. Behold, this we have searched out. It is true. Hear and know it for your good. My God, my God. Praise the Lord. Mm, mm, mm. Hallelujah. This scripture is saying a whole lot. Are you in the will of God? Are you living the life that he told you to live? My God. Think about all the goodness that he described in here. Of course, there is some areas where he's not pleased and he won't be pleased if you don't follow the way he told you to follow him. But there also are some benefits to this. Some benefits that he has for you if you would live the life that he told you to live. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus, for all you have done. I'm so happy and I just thank you right now, God, for your peace, your love, your joy, your, oh my God, the fruit of the spirit, hallelujah, that lives in me, your Holy Spirit that lives in me. Thank you, Jesus, right now. I hope y'all got something out of this word on today, my God. Oh, Jesus, hallelujah, really go back over and read this for yourself and let it penetrate your heart. And think about what God is saying to you on today. When famine come, you will not be touched. You'll be protected. Praise God. Because you'll be in the will of God. You'll be in his safety. Just like he told Noah to go build that ark. Go build the ark for you and your family. Hallelujah. And the animals then. Because the earth will be destroyed. My God. Are you listening today? Do you want to really be saved today? Do you want to be transformed? Do you want to live the life and have a relationship with God today? You can do that on today. I am looking for something just real quickly. But you can do that. God is calling for his people to come forward. His chosen ones. It's time to come forth. It's time to stand like never before. Stand, stand, stand. I just got through listening to that song, Stand. My God, stand. Stand up in God. I did a message on standing up in God. Stand up in God. Stand up. Stand for the Lord. Stand for righteousness. Stand. Praise God. Ask him to take the blinders from your eyes on today. Ask him to help you to see what's going on around in the churches and everywhere. Tell him, Lord, please take the blinders from my eyes. But you must go ahead and give your life if you haven't already. But if you have and you have straight away come back and ask God to save you, to sanctify you, to fill you with his Holy Spirit. Tell him you to re, that y'all repent. Repent of your sin when you come back to him. Fall on your knees and cry out to him and say, what must I do? God, I'm sorry. I apologize. No, no. Repent. Repent. Of your sin and then turn from your sin. And let his spirit fall on you. And surrender your life to him and let him have control of your life. Totally, completely, totally complete control of your life. Let him do that on today. We're going to pray this prayer of salvation. Pray this prayer out loud. If you want to be saved, you can go uh, uh, read 1 Peter 4 and 1. But you pray this out loud. The Lord is working in this time, in this season, right here, right now. So we're going to pray this prayer right now. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. I surrender my life. 
Wash me clean. I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God, that he died on the cross for my sin and rose again on the third day for my victory. I believe in my heart and, and I confess with my mouth that the Lord Jesus is my savior and Lord, that the, that Jesus is my savior and Lord. I receive eternal life. Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer, believe in your heart that Jesus was rose from the dead. Hallelujah. And that he is the son of God. Hallelujah. Trust, just believe. Just believe. That's the main thing. Just believe. Hallelujah. And believe that you have been saved. Find your local church home that really goes by the word of God. Not taking away, not, not adding to the word, but strictly the Bible. The Bible, the true and just, oh my God, strictly the Bible. But when you do that, visit the churches, ask God to help you to ask him. He will help you. Is this where I'm supposed to be planted, Lord? Is this where you want me? He will do it for you. That's one of the things we should be doing every time we go visit a church. Is this where you want me to be planted, Lord? And let the Holy Spirit take over. Let him show you where you're supposed to be. Y'all excuse my mouth. Let the Holy Spirit lead and guide you. That's what he's there for. And I'm so glad and so happy about this lesson on today. The Lord has been working with me. I'm telling you, every time I would open my word, it's going straight to Job. The Lord is trying to tell you something. Every time he, I'd be like, Lord, I know you're trying to tell me something. He gives it. He give it and he takes it away. He give it and he takes it away. But he will restore. He will restore. Whatever you release into his hands, whatever you let go of, he will restore it back to you. More than you gave away. More than you let go of. More than you could ever imagine. He will give it back to you so don't be afraid to let go of things and people and places and all of this stuff trust that the Lord has something better for you in life that he loves you and he will not harm you hallelujah you all enjoy the rest of your day listen share this word with somebody else because you don't know who might need this word on today share 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 and also give the likes for the Lord Jesus Christ I get no glory it's not about me. Take your eyes off of me and focus on God because he gets all the glory, all the praise, all the honor. All the glory, the praise and the honor. He is worthy of it. He has been so faithful to us. He has been doing so many great things for us. We need to serve him. We need to give our lives totally, totally, completely, fully to him. Not playing not playing church, not pretending, none of this. Because, listen, he knows your heart. He knows your heart. He knows if you're real. He knows it. So live the life that he said for real, on purpose. Hallelujah. Intentional. My God, I love you, Jesus. And go out there and be kind to somebody, help somebody, share a kind word with somebody. Um, share the word of God with somebody, share a hug, share a smile, share, a, just embrace somebody. And also, if somebody need a listening, they just need you to listen to them. Listen, but don't go and spread their business because it's not even your business to spread to somebody else. It's not. And God would not be pleased if you do. So listen. Listen to what the Lord is saying and listen to them and let them just, you know, because they put their trust in you. They put their trust to, to know that you will not spill. And God is going to give you the discerning to know who to talk to and who not to talk to. OK. Know that on today. He loves you. Be blessed. And listen, just enjoy your day. Listen, don't let nobody steal your joy. Because the world didn't give it, and the world, sure enough, can't take it away. Be blessed on today.